Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we'll talk about how you can set up your Alan Bradley Integrated Display Industrial Computer. Well, if you haven't seen one before, let me show you what it looks like. So if you type Alan Bradley Integrated Display Computer on your Google and go Images, this is what it looks like. It's actually a full fledged HMI. It looks like a panel view if you're familiar with. So there's a couple of steps you have to do in order to set it up. First of all, you have to download the system file from the Alan Bradley website. Let's get started. So if you go ab.com and then you roll your cursor over support and then click on file download. And over here, you punch in your model number of your Alan Bradley integrated display industrial computer. My model number will be this. So uh, just keep in mind, uh, most of this uh, uh, integrated display industrial computer the HMI starts with 6181P. So once you do that, you, if you hit search here, it comes up with the selection. Uh, you click on this guy here and this will be populated. So if you click download, it gives you two options. There's two different types of images that you can download. One of them is called AMI Rescue and the other one is called Ghost Format. The AMI Rescue format allows you to use a graphical interface. It's like a, a UEFI graphical interface. It's more interactive. While on the other side, the Ghost Format is actually a text space. If you're familiar with Norton Ghost, that's what the user interface looks like. And the third file that you can potentially download is the BIOS update. I don't really download this and update the BIOS. But if you have issues or if your COM card is not working or a USB port is not working, you might want to download this one here. So just as a test, I'm going to put a check on both of them and click on download too, just to see the size of each file. So you can see that uh, the AMI is about 4.15 gigabyte and the ghost format is about 8.44 gigabyte. So one, one key thing that I want to underscore here is that uh, the files are very big. When I downloaded this guy here, it took me about two and a half hours to download. It all depends on how, how fast or what kind of bandwidth you have in your, in your network. But uh, yeah, just a heads up. If you have a limited bandwidth coverage in the field, I would highly recommend you download this in a more stable environment before you go out in the field. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to download the AMI Rescue here and click on download now. After that, you click on direct download. It will present you with three files you have to download three files in three parts. Each of them is about two gigabyte, except for the last one, which is about 345 megabyte. So once you download this three file, which I've already done, I'm gonna close my Google here. You'll get somewhat like that. So in order to unzip this file, you double click the part one. I'm gonna download on the same spot as the zip file. Once that is complete, if you open this file up, these are the files that you need as to use for image. So once this is ready, put in your USB stick. And if you scroll down, if you right click, you'll need a brand new USB stick, by the way. So I'm going to show you what you have to do. Right click and hit format. By the way, this will get rid of everything on that USB stick. Mine is about 7.8. You can see that. This requires a total of 4.17 gigabyte. So it's sufficient. So it has to be FAT32, cannot be any other file system. And then volume label, you have to give a name. Could be anything, right? Cannot be blank, but could be anything. Once that's done, click on start. I'm not gonna do start, I've already got my a card here prepared. So once that's done, you copy all this file in your clipboard and you just paste it in there, right? That's all you have to do, paste it into there. And after that, you're ready to use the USB stick with your Alan Bradley integrated display industrial computer. I've powered up my uh, integrated display industrial computer and uh, VNC into this computer. This is my field laptop. So what you have to do is that during this countdown time, you have to press F2 to get into the UEFI graphical interface for the AMI image format file, or you can press delete for the ghost image, right? So uh, since I'm going to use AMI, press F2, which means you need a keyboard for this uh, effort. So F2. So when you press F2, you'll be confronted with this screen. 
This is your AMI provisioning screen. So uh, what you have to do is click on AMI Rescue. And then once you click AMI Rescue, you'll be presented with two options, make a backup or restore from an image. Uh, when I do this kind of work, just as a safety net, I always make a backup first. Click the browse here to select the location and click here the browse here, the second browse on the destination side to select the destination image where you want to write to. Uh, by default, the uh, backup source and the destination source are the hidden partition on your hard drive. Just keep that in mind. So once you set those up, click backup now and you will start making backup. So I'm not going to do any backups here. So I'm just going to exit out of this guy. And then once you make the backup, you have to restore the image that you just downloaded from the ab.com website. Click on it. So it'll be presented with a reverse of what you saw just now. So make sure you have a USB plugged into the, the industrial computer. And then after that, you browse and search for the USB, select the file. Once you select the file, and then on this browse side here for the destination, it's your default location, which is always the hidden partition on your hard drive. So once you select that, hit restore now, it will do the restoration. So that's what you do uh, to do a backup and restore into the industrial computer. I hope this uh, tip will help you. If not, leave a comment. Take care. Bye.